Welcome to Log10 Pro for Mac. This video will give you a quick tour of some of the key features Log10 Pro has to help you take control of your flight time. We'll cover Log10 Pro's one-click configuration, which configures your logbook automatically based on the type of flying you do, how to log your flight time, logging nighttime and approaches, differentiating commercial operations, tracking currency, flight duty and limits, importing your flight schedule, backing up your logbook, and last but not least, printing reports. When you first open Log10 Pro, you'll want to set your typical role. This will automatically configure your logbook to include the most common information for that role. However, you can always choose from dozens of additional options as well as create your own fields to fully customize Log10 Pro to your personal needs. You can also change your typical role by going to the Log10 Pro menu, then select Preferences, or use the keyboard shortcut Command Comma, then General, and click Typical Role. Logging your flight data in Logged In Pro is easy. To add a new flight, just tap on the plus button at the bottom left of the table view or use Command N. You can enter data in the table view by using Tab to move along to the next field or by using the flight details view on the right. By default, today's date is pre-filled. Bear in mind that the date that is automatically filled in corresponds with your preferred time zone settings and preferences and that the default is UTC. If you selected commercial, airline captain or airline first officer roles and preferences, the entry type field is automatically turned on. This allows you to log flights as well as other types of work duties like positioning, non-flying, simulator duty, reserve, and so on. Next, begin typing in the aircraft ID. The picker will start filtering aircrafts based on what you're typing. You can use the arrow keys to change the selection and return to select one of the aircraft you've flown before, in which case the type will be auto-filled. Recently used aircraft are shown at the top in green. You can also save aircrafts as favorites. You'll see them listed here in blue. If you're entering an aircraft you've never flown before, simply finish typing the aircraft ID and hit tab to move to the next field, which by default will be the aircraft type designator, such as C-172, B-738, etc. In the type field, just start typing what you know about the type, and Log10 Pro will search our database of over 30,000 types for a match. For example, if you type Boeing, you'll get a list of all Boeing types. Or, if you type B-73, you will find all the variants of the Boeing 737 aircraft type. Now, let's enter the from and to airports. Just like the aircraft type field, the from and to fields allow you to search on any of the place data. So, you can start typing the ICAO or IATA identifiers, the city, airport name, and many more. Next, enter the out and in times, hobs or tack times as appropriate. Your total time can be automatically calculated by any one of these, whichever you have specified in preferences. By default, out and in times will be used to calculate total time, unless you're in the US and selected a general aviation role. You can customize which fields you would like auto-filled in preferences. When there are from and to places entered with valid Latin launch coordinates and the out and in times have been logged, Log10 Pro automatically calculates nighttime. Using a powerful algorithm based on your departure and arrival GPS locations, the Great Circle Route, and Civil Twilight to ensure your nighttime is calculated as accurately as possible. In any time field, you can instantly fill the total time by tapping the spacebar. If you need to enter a partial value, for example, actual instrument, just click in that field and enter the appropriate time. In the duty section, you can log things like duty time, pay, operating capacity, and ops type, such as part 121 in the US. When you log duty times, Log10 Pro helps you keep track of your rest and duty limits. You can customize your default time offset for on duty and off duty in the duty tab of preferences. If you're flying multiple legs, on the first flight of the day, tap the spacebar in the on duty field to autofill the time using your preferred offset and scheduled out time. Then, on the last flight of the day, tap the spacebar in the off duty field after logging the actual in time, and the value will be filled using the in time and your preferred offset. Note, it's recommended to do this for scheduled flights as well to estimate your planned duty. This allows Log10 Pro to monitor all your upcoming trips and warn you of any issues with limits, currencies, or certificates. In the crew section, you can track all the crew members on the flight. Simply enter the name in the appropriate position field. When you start typing, a list of matching people will be displayed so you can quickly select the people you've flown with before. If you want to track additional crew members, you can add them in the People tab of Preferences. A takeoff and landing are automatically entered for you, and if out and in times have been entered, Log10 Pro will determine if they were day or night. You can customize how Log10 Pro autofills your takeoff and landings in the landing tab of preferences. In this logbook, we have set our autofill takeoff and landings to only when pilot flying. 
This way, if you're not the pilot flying, you can simply uncheck the box next to Pilot Flying in the Duty section to remove the takeoffs and landings. Multiple approaches are also supported in Log10 Pro. You can log as many as 10 different approach types per flight. Each approach entry allows you to log the type of approach, total number of approaches, runway, and the place that the approach occurred. To speed data entry, when you select an approach type, Log10 Pro will automatically enter a quantity of one and pre-fill the two airport. The passenger section allows you to log specific names of your passengers or total count of passengers, including the count of business passengers. The notes section is for remarks or other fields you may have configured in settings. For example, aircraft owners will want to turn on the use code to track their flights for business versus personal usage. You can lock a flight by clicking the lock icon in the upper left of the flight details panel. This prevents inadvertent modifications. Log10 Pro on iOS supports Coridine digital signatures, which allows instructors or examiners to sign off on any flight certificate or endorsement directly on your device. Once those flights are synced back to the Mac, you will see that they are signed by tapping on the digital signature text at the top of the details panel. Be sure to note that the signed flights are locked. If you need to change information on that flight, you will need to unlock it. Doing so will erase the signature and you will need to have your flight instructor revalidate the flight on iOS. You can quickly create new flights based on an existing one by selecting Next Leg, Return Trip, or Duplicate from the File menu. Next Leg, Return Trip, and Duplicate commands work just as you'd expect them to by creating a new flight record and copying the pertinent aircraft, airport, and crew information. The left pane of the Log10 Pro window shows you your smart groups and allows you to quickly filter your flights as well as track limits, currencies, and expiring certificates. At the top, you'll have all flights, then several default common time periods. When you click on the title of a group, the table view is filtered to only show the flights that match the criteria for the selected group. You will also see that the totals at the bottom of the table view reflect the flights for that group specifically. Currency keeps track of your basic currencies for day, night, instrument, and rest currencies. Clicking on a currency group title will show you the flights that match that currency group criteria. The value shown next to the currency group indicates the number of days until that currency lapses. You can always customize or add additional currency groups using the plus button at the bottom of the groups list. Limits allow you to track how much time you have remaining to meet a particular limit or goal. For example, you could specify that you're only allowed to fly 8 hours in any 24-hour period, and the group would count down as you add flights so you can see how many hours remain until you meet your goal or limit. You can collapse or expand any section in the Smart Groups list by hovering to the right of the section's title. Next, let's look at Smart Groups. These are extremely powerful and completely customizable, enabling you to filter and track virtually any aspect of your flying. Want to see how much tailwheel, complex, or high performance time you have? Create a smart group and the answers are displayed. For more information on setting up smart groups, please see the Harnessing the Power of Smart Groups tutorial. A link is provided in the YouTube description below this video. Under Devices, you'll see which iOS devices you can sync with via Wi-Fi. If you're using iCloud, devices are synced automatically. If you're flying scheduled operations, Log10 Pro for Mac supports importing schedules from over 100 carriers. To import a schedule, just click the File menu, then Import Schedule. Choose your company and follow the instructions for importing your schedule. One of the most important things you'll want to ensure is that your logbook is backed up. For this, you can use Log10 Pro's in-app manual backup. Just click Backups at the top right of the toolbar and then the plus button, and Log10 Pro will back up your logbook to your iCloud account. If you would like to use Dropbox Backup, simply click Dropbox and then the plus button. You can also click the Share button or Control click on the backup to export a copy of your logbook for safekeeping elsewhere. Finally, Log10 Pro has you covered when you're ready to analyze, print, or export your data with over 100 built-in reports. From experience and summaries, to numerous regional popular paper logbook formats, as well as duty and limits reports. You can create detailed experience reports in a variety of formats, including FAA's IACRA, formerly 8710 report, summaries, such as by aircraft type, and logbooks from your specific country. Just choose the country, the date range you want to cover, and either double-click the report or click the report and then generate report. Once the report is displayed, you can share it, print it, or save it as a PDF. And of course, if you have any questions about these or indeed any other features in Log10 Pro, please don't hesitate to contact our fantastic support team direct from Log10 Pro by clicking Help, then Contact Support. For more Log10 Pro tips and tutorials, subscribe to the Cordine Aviation channel or click another video to keep watching now.